The game's up, Teresa. As soon as Ethan gets downstairs, he's gonna ID you as a stalker. I wouldn't ask you to come down here with your sprained ankle, Ethan, but it's important. No, it's not a problem. Gwen is rewrapping it. So what's this about? Well, Frank Lomax is here, and he's identified your stalker. In fact, he thinks she's here in the living room. But that's impossible. Teresa and Whitney said she moved to South America. I know, but Frank seems quite certain that he has the right person. How did he find her? Where was she? Who is it? Well, I think I'll let Frank fill you in when you get down here. Fine, I'll be right down. I don't believe it. Your stalker's been caught? Apparently. Frank Lomax claims he has her downstairs in the living room. In the living room? How can that be? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. I mean, if this is the same girl who did all those things to me, she's going to wish she never woke up this morning. How long did you think you were going to get away with this charade, Teresa? Oh, enough, Frank. That's all right, Mrs. Crane. I wasn't expecting an answer anyway. But I'm curious. Why didn't you ever attack Ethan here in the house? You had plenty of opportunities. I never attacked Ethan anywhere. I never do anything to intentionally hurt him. Why don't you stop badgering her, Frank? Teresa hasn't been proven guilty yet. And as to her look, I've already explained why she changed her appearance. She wanted to look more professional. She put on this disguise for one reason and one reason only. So that Ethan wouldn't recognize her. Why don't you wait for Ethan in the foyer, Frank? He should be coming down any minute and he may need help with the stairs. Whatever you say, Mrs. Crane. Thanks for sticking up for me, Mrs. Crane. Well, if I am, Teresa, it is because I am genuinely confused here. I like you. A and I can't believe you're guilty of perpetrating these crimes committed by the stalker. But if Frank is right, and you're the one who's doing these things, I'm going to do what I have to do, with great regret. But I will, because as fond of you as I am, my son Ethan is the most important person in the world to me. I don't understand, Mrs. Crane. Do what? Not only will you go to jail under the state's harsh new stalker laws, but I'm afraid I will have to fire your mother, Pilar, as this family's housekeeper. No, please. If you do that, my family will be destroyed.